So I guess we were looking for a more creative way of giving back to the environment. And we threw around quite a few ideas, but the, the clear standout was installing beehives across all of our facilities. We explored several options for beehives, and in the end we partnered up with Matt and Vanessa from Rooftop Honey. And once we partnered up with Matt and Vanessa, we then we did comprehensive risk assessments across all of our sites to ensure that they were safe and they were going to be effective. And over the last six months, we've been installing the hives throughout all of our facilities. And each hive should uh, yield approximately 10 kilos of honey. And the beautiful part about this partnership with Rooftop Honey is that our residents from retirement living and residential care can enjoy the benefits of interacting with those hives as well. So they suit up in all the, the apiary equipment and go and extract the honey with Matt and Vanessa. So they're an active participant in this initiative. Okay, Rooftop Honey is essentially a, uh, a little hobby project that got out of hand and, and took over our lives. And it, uh, it started as backyard beekeeping um, and looking where we could uh, expand, put more hives out and about. And we uh, started off uh, contacting other people who might be interested in having a hive, but, but not entirely confident in looking after it themselves. And over the last uh, nine years, it's uh, kind of grown now where we've got beautiful sites around Melbourne and, and even around the whole state um, and, and places like here where we, we bring hives in, we, we maintain them throughout the year and uh, in, in these particular sites we have residents and other people get involved in, in learning about bees and helping us with those hives. So Jason Quick contacted us a couple of years ago and he was interested in um, bees because he had a friend who was a beekeeper. So that's how the relationship started and he had the vision to be able to be able to have bees on site at various locations and to get the residents involved. I've taken an interest in it and also increased the flowers in my garden, especially blues because I know bees like blues and it's been very interesting. I've been to one show down there at the, put the, you know, the material on and watched the bees and it's been very interesting. I know that they sort of keep together and there's the queen and she has her family and if she goes, they go. So we're hoping the queen will stay and keep them here but um, I'll use it in cooking or just in, you know, banana and honey, very nice. Be interesting to see what it tastes like. our first start season that we're starting with the Freemasons. So we're hoping to get interested residents involved in the actual beekeeping and the idea of it is is for them to be able to have some of their local honey as well as use the, that product in whatever they want, whether it be for fundraising or whether it be just to enjoy it. It's a wonderful experience. Um, it's great to be able to engage with, with the older community and because you know eventually we'll be there too at some point in time. Yeah no I think it's important a lot of these people uh, yeah especially here with the the gardens over the back uh, have an interest in their own gardens here. Um, the mental engagement keeping them keeping them active in uh, in the activities around the place is very important and the the joy of getting into a beehive something that would have been unusual to a lot of them uh, We'll, we'll get the benefit of coming down and yeah. putting on a suit and getting into the hive and having a look around and then the reward of, of seeing the product on the table then at the end that they get to eat. Yeah, it's a super privilege to be able to share the experience with them.